on, everyone? I'm just a typical, average American, here today to react and enjoy Canadian stand-up comedian Jeremy Hotz making fun of America, telling jokes about America, and God knows there is a lot of subject matter to choose from. I'm thinking this is gonna be pretty funny, uh, pretty lighthearted. Uh, I don't know, maybe this will hit a little too close to home. Maybe this will just upset me, but uh, they, I guess they say there's a lot of truth in comedy. And the question is, can I handle the truth? Let's find out right here. <laughs> Do we coexist together? Because we're all Canadian. We're part of Canada and we're bonding together against the common enemy, the United States. <laughs> What? What a horrible country. <laughs> I live there now. Uh, why, why does it have to start like that? You know, it's, it is funny. And I know he's joking. I think he's, he's joking. He is a professional joke maker. But <laughs> what a horrible country. Never heard it quite that blunt before. What a horrible country. He can't even contain himself. He's chuckling at how horrible, <laughs> the common enemy, okay. Yeah, they're the most un-Canadian people you will ever meet in your life. True, true, true. They look like us, that's the end of it right there. <laughs> we, <laughs> like we're a different species or something. Like we're a different animal. We, they look like us. Those monsters, those Americans. They're not like us at all, they're morons. <laughs> Okay. All across the streets, they're even crazier. I was in Texas. <laughs> oh, oh boy. Some yahoos in Texas. <laughs> I, I mean, to be fair, Texas is like one of, if not the most extreme, one of the most extreme American environments, I guess I'll say. You could put yourself in Texas. That's funny. That's where the term comes from. <laughs> I don't even think the French have a word for yahoos. <laughs> 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 He's laughing. He's laughing at his own jokes. I got off the bus, a guy with a big cowboy hat comes walking up to me. Horse, nowhere in sight. <laughs> okay. It, it is funny because, like, Texans really do wear cowboy hats. Like, just, it's their normal day-to-day -day fashion. Like, that's not actually, this actually probably happened. <laughs> Just looks at me, y'all from out of town? Oh yeah, all of us. <laughs> y'all, okay. Standing alone, Buford, who are you looking at? <laughs> That's not that, okay. I don't, I don't think saying y'all is that weird. I don't think it's that weird. I, I've heard a lot of people from a lot of different places in the US say y'all. Some places you wouldn't even expect in the US, not even in southern states all the time. People say y'all. <laughs> is that not, is y'all just not said in Canada? Is it that funny? <laughs> you can't call an American on anything because they're violent. <laughs> oh, They'll God. get mad at you. They'll tell you right to your face, screw you. <laughs> Canadians don't do that. That's, <laughs> that's his American impression. <laughs> what an impression of an American. Screw you, screw you. <laughs> yeah. That, that's why the rest of the world loves us. <laughs> yeah. We know how to hate strategically. <laughs> <laughs> strategically, right. It's like, <laughs> that's, either, man, there is a lot of truth in comedy. Like this is proving it. Canadians, I'm sure from time to time, like even Canadians like, dislike people or want to say something negative or vent or, but you do it strategically. Americans are very, very open and blunt about it, for sure. <laughs> Somebody bumps into us, we don't yell, screw you! <laughs> we go, oh, excuse me, I didn't see you there. <laughs> right, so weird. And then as we're walking away, we think, what a fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a multicultural world, isn't it? But we're doing our best, aren't we? We're hanging in there. We're cool, man. We're all right. We're Canadian shit. Look at us. We're not like the Americans. They're nuts. They're the closest thing to us, and they're crazy. What the hell? 
something about the way he talks is also just like gold. Like he, is, <laughs> I don't really know Jeremy Hotz at all, but just the way he talks is like <laughs> Americans. They're crazy. <laughs> it's funny. What is their problem? They don't even have a prime minister. Yeah? No. They made up their own thing, president. <laughs> yeah? We, we don't have a president. Why is he, <laughs> he is like cracking up as, at his own jokes. It, it makes it funnier, actually. We don't, we have a prime minister. It's yeah. much less hostile, isn't it? Sounds I, like a cut of meat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. I think prime minister to an American, Prime Minister actually sounds very, like, foreign and actually more harsh, actually, to Americans, funny enough. Like, president is like, whatever. President of a company, president of a university, president of the United States. What It's, it's a term, but prime minister to us is kind of harsh. <laughs> you ordering the minister? No, I'm having the prime minister. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just don't let America overwhelm us with their bullshit. That's all I'm saying. I mean, they're different than us, but they're the same, and they fool us. They trick us, man. Look, really? They try to do the same things we do. We both celebrate Thanksgiving. Right. They do it on a different day. Right. Why? Because they're assholes. <laughs> <laughs> that, I mean, that's why. I mean, no other explanation. That's why. <laughs> oh, my. I like, uh, I like his style of comedy. It's very blunt. It's very over the top. And, like, it's easy to tell he's joking around. Or at least I hope so. <laughs> what do we do on Thanksgiving? Nothing in particular. <laughs> Sit with family, right? Eat? That's yeah. it? Yeah. Nothing else? Yeah. No. What do they do? They celebrate the pilgrims. <laughs> Why? What? Why celebrate those morons? What? You ever look at them? They had belts <laughs> on their hats. <laughs> What? Why? Why do we got to bring the pilgrims into this? Why we got to attack the pilgrims? <laughs> it's kind of a fun word to say. Pilgrim. I haven't said pilgrim in a... <laughs> Somehow the way he says pilgrim is even funny. The pilgrims <laughs> with their belts on their hats. True. I mean, they're like the like the old original Americans that came here and like, well, honestly, took the took the land from the native Americans that were already here, but that's not really what we like to think about during Thanksgiving. We think about the, their funny little feasts and their belt hats. I would have loved to have been at that meeting just to see how it came up. <laughs> Our hats keep blowing off in the wind. Let's put belts on them. <laughs> like, Canadians know pilgrims, right? <laughs> or is that an American thing? Like, he's absolutely... Let me get a picture here, like... They have, oh <laughs> uh, yeah, like this, Pilgrim, belt on his hat, right there, <laughs> yes. He is right, and it is funny. <laughs> Good thinking, Jacob. <laughs> Anything else? Yeah, our shoes keep falling off. <laughs> Buckles, you say? Okay. I didn't know this was gonna turn, I didn't know this was gonna turn into a roast of the Pilgrims. Oh, or... it's so bizarre. Canada and America, we live right next to each other and we kind of get along. Yeah, yeah. I or they think, think we get along. I think we get along well. We get along with them, but we really don't. We're okay. vitally afraid of them, aren't we? <laughs> because they have guns. <laughs> and we reason. <laughs> <laughs> the guy who reasons with the crazy guy <laughs> fucking loses. Oh, that, oh, that's true. That's too true. It hurts, but it's funny. <laughs> it reminds me of driving. Like, I'm always driving around, and I'm always saying, like, I, I drive a car really defensively because Americans are terrible drivers, and they're always almost hitting you or crashing into you and not using their turn signal, and you have to really, like, be looking out and, like, maneuvering yourself to dodge people sometimes, not all the time. But I've had to dodge cars straight up. And I've always thought, wouldn't it just be nice to be the, the guy who's driving his car and it's just crazy? 
I'm I'm the one going wherever I want, and everyone just has to look out for me. And I, everyone's just living in my world. Like, that. <laughs> that's kind of what this reminds me of when he's like, Americans are crazy, and they have guns, and they're crazy, and we just have to hope that those crazy lunatics can listen to reason. And it's like, I actually can relate to that. Yeah. <laughs> That's the problem. Yeah. <laughs> we got to pretend we're tough. That's the thing, but we're bad at it, aren't we? Because we don't want to do anything. You know what Canadians want? We just want to wake up in the morning and stand there. <laughs> really? Because if we move, we might cause some trouble. <laughs> wow. The best thing is just don't fucking move. Stand there. <laughs> Let the world move around us. <laughs> and then when nobody's looking, sneak away. <laughs> Oh, wow, he's, re he's really revealing all the, man, all these parts of Canadian culture and Canadian habits and strategies, really, that I never even knew about. How sneaky. Canadians, you're, you're much sneakier than I realized. You keep the peace, you keep to yourself, let everyone else kind of destroy themselves around you, and then you just walk away scot-free, right? It does. We're the great Canadians. <laughs> We're fantastic. We've taken over the job of the Swiss. <laughs> But even the Swiss were violent. Look at the pocket knife. Okay. You could kill a guy with those things. The okay. pocket knife, they had the corkscrew. We never perfected the pocket knife. There's no such thing as a Canadian knife. Canada is known for donuts. Is it? Is, it, is Can Canada's known for like maple syrup and being cold, but uh, and mooses, but not really. Uh, donuts. I, I wouldn't say donuts. Tim Horton donuts. Tim Horton donuts. That's us. Don't screw with us. We'll peg tin bits at you. <laughs> <laughs> that joke wouldn't make any sense to most Americans, but I have studied the Tim Hortons in other videos, and I know what a tim bit is. <laughs> and the thought of being pelted with tim bits by Canadians is funny. Because we care about ourselves, don't we? You're just a kid, so it's new to you, right? How old are you? 24 years to baby, look at you. The world hasn't even enveloped you yet. Shit, you're lucky. You got a good job? It's okay. Typical Canadian answer. Doesn't want to start anything. Show anybody else up. What do you do? Landscaper. You're a landscaper? Wow, like a gardener. That's right. <laughs> well, you've got the fancy word for it. <laughs> Somehow he did randomly just pick out the... <laughs> he picks someone out at random, and it's just like the most nice, sweet, like, Canadian guy ever. <laughs> You're a gardener. The great outdoors. <laughs> You live in Quebec and you're a gardener. You work three months out of the year. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow, that was really good. That's that's Jeremy Hotz. Uh, I really didn't know him before, but I just saw that this was a popular like Canadian stand-up routine that had to do with making jokes about America. And I was like, I want to see this. I want to see what the, <laughs> what the jokes are at America. Like, I think that's actually good to get some outside, or outside perspective on America. And, and comedy has a way of, like, of course, being comedic, being funny, but also, like, having a lot of truth to it, like I've been saying. And I thought that routine, that stand-up, was, like, really good, really like, <laughs> truthful in a lot of ways, and, sh like, sh it, it exaggerated some things, but it was funny to hear his Canadian perspective on America and some of the kind of silly things you can criticize us for, and it's all in good fun. I don't mind it at all. I thought that was actually really insightful and very entertaining. That was Jeremy Hot. So that was great, so I enjoyed this. Anyway, if you enjoyed this as well, feel free to give this video a like, or leave a comment. And if you're interested in more videos like this, me reacting to Canada and Canadian culture and stuff about Canada I've never seen before, feel free to subscribe for more. And until then, thanks for watching and see you next time.